I, I really want to thank everybody for their commitment, first of all, in 2015, because we're in a great position moving forward to 2016. We've already started preparation, I suppose, since last August in terms of Adana Varasa. The flags um, scheme has been there at schools, and it's been quite remarkable, I think, the feedback we've got from schools. The, the, um, there's a whole generation of children now that fully understand the, the importance of the flag, and that's been done by the men and women of Oakley here and who've gone out to the schools. And I think I haven't heard one comment um, that has been negative. In fact, it's been overwhelmingly positive. Politicians, teachers, just citizen and society, if you look at social media in terms of the success of the flag to schools campaign has been extraordinary. So it's left us in a good position in terms as we move into the year of the centenary of the 1916 rising. I think we have a huge opportunity to define and to reinforce the importance of Oakley Nahirn. When all is said and done, Oakley Nahirn is part of the fabric of our state. And through the centenary programme, I think there's a huge um, opportunity for society to see the strength and the value of Oakley Nahirn as that key foundation in terms of our sovereignty, upholding our sovereign rights. Um, it would start obviously on the 1st of January with the flag raising and thereafter there are over 40 major uh, programmes and centenary events where Oakley Nahirn will be front and centre. So I'm looking forward with all the members of Oakley Nahirn to driving ahead in 2016 and showing society the significance and the robustness of Oakley Nahirn as a key institution of this state. 2015 has been hugely successful in terms of the commitment to service from the men and women of Oakley Nahirn. I think it's been remarkable, you know, just recently, I suppose, in the last number of weeks, we've seen the agility and the ability of the service to turn and actually deliver large numbers, thousands of personnel to support the local authorities in dealing with the flooding. We've continued our commitment in terms of peace support operations at a very high level in 16 missions in 15 countries and one sea. And we've also shown our ability in terms of aid to the civil power, in particular on the EOD side, the emergency air ambulance service, and commitments throughout in terms of security of vital installations. I think few people understand and appreciate that Ireland has a jurisdiction which is almost three times the size of Germany. And every day, men and women of Oakley Nahir and their soldiers, our sailors and our air crew are securing vital installations. They're patrolling our airspace and they're patrolling our maritime. And that goes to the heart of sovereignty and upholding our sovereign rights. The Defence Forces, Oakley Nahir is a key part of our security architecture. In fact, when all is said and done, you can see it's the bedrock in which our sovereignty and sovereign rights are upheld, and it provides the framework for a civil society. Well, I suppose across the board, whether it be emergency aeromedical service, air ambulance, whether it be the, the vast number of EOD call-outs we had, almost 140, the almost 1,000 maritime patrol days, over 1,000 uh, boardings, they all count up to the services that we delivered in aid to civil power or aid to civil authority are basically just doing our duty. On the training front, it's been quite remarkable. Almost uh, 20,000 student days uh, on 1,500 uh, courses, a remarkable achievement. And in terms of graduates, we had over 200 this year uh, between Carlo IT, Minute uh, University, as well as Cork Institute of Technology, and a pleasure of other third level engagements all underpinning our delivery and ensuring that uh, the men and women of Oakley Nahirn are developed in a manner that their personal competence is accredited. Level 6 for junior NCO, level 7 for our degree level for senior NCOs, um, degree level at officer level and opportunities for masters and also looking at work-based professional PhDs. This is a great statement in terms of the commitment of Oakley Nahirn to the development of personnel and the drive towards shaping the organisation as a knowledge institution where we codify knowledge within the organisation, making us smarter and making us more agile and more adaptable to the challenges and the complexity we face. One of the strategic uh, developments in 2015 was the delivery of our white paper on the fence. A great result. After several years, we had the uh, green paper on the fence, which was a, a public consultation. And when all is said and done, the white paper on the fence answers two questions. What does the government want? And what does the citizen want? of its Defence Forces, Oakley Nahirn. And I think the outcome is really positive. It's a full cross-government support in terms of policy objectives. I suppose some of the key highlights is a Defence Forces of around 9,500, a commitment to um, investment in terms of capability for the Army, for the Air Corps and the Naval Service, and some very exciting initiatives in terms of the Peace Support and Leadership Institute, a concept which the uh, Minister hopes to launch in 2016. It gives us, I suppose, a roadmap for the next 10 years 
It'll be reviewed every three years and the implementation plan has been worked on as we speak between myself and the Secretary General for a presentation to the Minister. So I think it puts us in a good position. It also points towards an increase in investment for the Defence Forces which shows the commitment from government, from the centre, in terms of the importance of defence and security for the state. I'd like to wish all the members of Oakland and Heron a happy Christmas and a peaceful New Year. I'd also like to extend my best wishes to our families. It's the families of the members of Oakland and Heron, for they're the centre of gravity. They actually support us through those long months when we're separated from them. So I wish a happy Christmas and a peaceful New Year to the families of the men and women of Oakland and Heron. And I also remember those members of Oakley and who have passed away during the past year. My thoughts are with their families. Thank you very much.